Hello, everybody. Now it is my time to jump on the bandwagon about Thundercats Roar. So, okay, this show is bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not as good as I thought it would be. But here's something that just came out recently. Um, there's a lot of backlash going around online about how, you know, Teen Titans Go and Thundercats Roar just had a crossover with each other. And it's really a lot of backlash. I'm not going to talk about it because, you know, people are online that are, you know, they're already talking about it. And I feel like if I talked about it, I just feel like I'd try, you know, I, I feel like I'm trying to fit in way too much. Oh, this is going to be a good review. Okay. This is going to be really good. So basically I watched Thundercats Roar when it came out on, you know, the first day on the website of Cartoon Network and it was not bad for my watch. I actually really enjoyed the animation. It was nice. It was really cool. People, when the first, um, the, when the first trailer came out, people were mad and they were like, okay, this is bad. This looks terrible. And I'm thinking to myself, do you guys really like, are you serious right now? Do you know what Steven Universe was like when it first started? It, it turned into something completely different. It's so much different from what we've seen. And you know, there's humongous story arcs now. And when we first saw Steven Universe, it was just a show about this chubby kid who had magical powers. And what if they weren't really going to make story arcs in the beginning? Maybe it was just a silly, funny show for kids. And then it turned into something completely different, just like Adventure Time did. Adventure Time was not supposed to be anything too big until the episode, the um, backstory of Marceline and the Ice King came out. Now, um, the reason, yeah, that's a long story. But until that episode came out, they started to get inspiration from fans and they were like, okay, then well, let's make this into a bigger show. And I feel like that's what Thundercats Rourke would have done, but they are probably canceled right now because of all the backlash that's been happening so far of the show. Um, my honest opinions, I did not see a problem with the show at all. We've already had two Thundercats shows. One was a reboot and that was actually pretty good. It was from 2011. Now, the Thundercats were that we got now, it's literally just a Teen Titans Go ripoff, but with the Thundercats characters. Now, is it bad? It's it's not bad from what I've seen. I mean, I, I've only seen one episode, but it's not bad. I don't understand why people are so judgmental for Cartoon Network shows nowadays. I just got done watching this video from this one girl talking about how Cartoon Network doesn't care anymore. What do you mean they don't care? They try as much as they can. Have you seen Nickelodeon? Honey, no, 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 no. Have you seen Nickelodeon? Don't even go there with me, okay? Thank you, bye. <laughs> So Nickelodeon is completely different besides Cartoon Network because, because Cartoon Network actually airs their cartoon shows. Nickelodeon does not do anything. And she was like, oh, Cartoon Network doesn't have any good shows on anymore. What do you mean? Uh, I'm, I'm getting off topic. But Thundercats Roar, if you guys haven't seen it, just, just watch it. I know there's a lot of, you know, hate for it. But I mean, like, okay, we have to realize the crossover was a Teen Titans Go episode. And there was a lot of backlash because of the panthro body that's in the corner. Here's a picture. There was a panthro body in the corner and it's basically a jab at the voice actor who voiced Panthera and he passed away two years ago. Um, and then the original lion -O, here's a picture. Um, he says that we're all just poopy heads and we have poopy opinions. Um, I don't see a problem with this, but then when you bring the panthro situation in, it's just like, why would you do that? You, you don't do that. That's not the right way. Just go, so what the fuck? I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't understand what cartoon shows are trying to do anymore. I just, I don't get it. I really don't. So for those who are, you know, originally on my channel, does my camera look different? It's because I'm on my computer filming this. Um, both my phones are dead, so I can't film. Um, also, you guys like my shirt? It's pink diamond. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably burn it later, but anyways. If you guys didn't know, I also make gaming videos. Hi. How are ya? So, my final conclusion on the entire situation. I think people need to give Thundercats Roar a chance. But then at the same time, I don't even know if the episode crossover was written by both teams. Because it was a Teen Titans Go episode. I don't understand why people are like, wow, Thundercats Roar just did that bad. The the people who wrote the episode, they're the Teen Titans. Go to them. They're the ones who wrote the episode. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure they're the ones who wrote the episode because it was on their show. So I don't know why people are so mad because, like, it could be the people who wrote, you know, the episode because they're on Teen Titans Go. And it's a Teen Titans Go episode. So I don't know why we're getting so much backlash over, you know, Thundercats Roar making this episode, but they didn't. It was Teen Titans Go. It was their doing. There are a lot of people who work on Thundercats Roar that are really stupid as fuck, okay? They're really stupid for what they've said on Twitter so far. I'm not a fan of what they've been talking about. And it's just like some person, one person, she put on Twitter, or it was a girl or a guy, I don't know. But she wrote something on Twitter, and it just looked like she was trying to message the person. Like, it doesn't even seem like something that somebody would, 
you know, post online for everybody to see. It looked like a message, but it really wasn't. And she was tweeting to everybody. I, I don't, I don't get that. Like, why are you that stupid? <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> My conclusion is just, just give Thundercats for a chance. I mean, it really did not need all the backlash that it got. It really did not. I mean, Teen Titans Go, that got a lot of backlash, and you guys see what happened to that. I mean, it got better, and it is better. It has a little bit more funny jokes in it, and the movie was amazing. It was not bad at all. And I feel like if you guys got, you know, just gave Thundercats Roar a chance, maybe it would have turned into something completely different. Maybe it was going to be an episodic show. But you guys don't know that because you guys assumed it was going to be just a little kitty show. That's not how... I don't know. It's just... You... I feel like a lot of people judge shows way too much, and... I have done that before in the past. I judged, um, what was it called? Um, it was on my block. On my block is a Netflix show. And I judged it because I'm like, okay, this looks stupid. And I've never even seen an episode. And then I watched the show and I was like, wow, this is actually really good. And I feel like that's, a, you know, the problem with Thundercats Roar is that nobody gave it a chance. That's going to be the end of the video because I'm like getting so stressed out right now because I'm hungry. And this video is stressful. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you guys think about the whole situation? I think it's really petty. Um, on both sides, you know, the viewers and, you know, the team who's working on the show. I mean, don't judge a show if you guys haven't seen the entire project, like, the entire thing. Like, come on. Like, really? We, y'all know better. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I'm so sorry if it sounds like that. I'm just saying to give the show a chance. Maybe it'll turn out into, you know, something, you know, humongous, like the 2011 series did. Now, the, you know, the jokes in the show are really funny, but I feel like the reason why people don't like it is because of the animation. I mean... It's better than Teen Titans Go's animation. I mean, Teen Titans Go looks really bad compared to Thundercats Roar. Thundercats Roar looks like a show that was hand-drawn for every episode, and I'm not even lying. I'm really not. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, though, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you shall. Please and also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.